Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Tiller Rodan. So I figured I would talk about something spooky related, because I sure like my horror stuff, oh definitely. But I, talk, I thought I'd talk about some horror comics, I guess, a horror story so to speak. And it takes place in the, what do you call it, this, the Alice Wonderland story comics I've spoken about before, I guess you would say. And it's this one, folks, called a Wonderland. It's kind of like a little story, like a self-contained story, but it takes place in the, I guess, in the continuity of, the, of Wonderland, I guess you would say, it, like a horror version of the Disney stuff, I guess you would say. And, okay, this person, I mean, these people, I should say, were responsible for this graphic novel. Of course, as usual, let's talk about the plot, shall we? So here we go, I reckon. Oh, definitely. And we're going to see this kind of, this nerdy type character. She becomes friends with this goth kind of kind of character because, well, for one, they're on the cover, for, to come to think about it. But anyway, what's happened here is that the Jumbo Rocky has been defeated and the Queen of Hearts is dead. Uh, Wonderland is in a state of chaos with no ruler on the throne. So we get to see that there are these two women here, folks, as I was saying. They want to investigate some kind of thing that's going on. You have to look into it, this kind of mysteries, what's going on here. And, yeah, they chew more than what they could expect, of course. Yeah, things get pretty wild, as you may expect. Of course it would. It's a horror story for crying out loud. And... Yeah, I know a lot of people did complain about as looking attractive in some ways, like really people. You think that, seriously? You know, don't project your insecurities onto the book. Don't do that. There's lots of weird stuff going on in Wonderland anyway. Looking too sexy, looking too attractive is not like the least of your worries. So give me a break here. Anyway, this was published originally in single, single issues, but then it was later collected in one volume. Like a lot of these books have, of course. And that's what I'm reading here, the, the graphic novel. When it was collected into one book. Not individual issues, of course. Yes, basically this is library student that's researching some horror stuff, of course. And discover a long forgotten secret to either save or damn the whole world, of course. Yeah, these two characters, of course, become really good friends in some ways. As the, I guess, college student tries to do some kind of research on this, like, the squid thing that she stumbles across. And, yeah, it's pretty freaky. And stuff starts appearing into, into the weird world and starts attacking her and the other woman as well, of course, the goth-looking woman. And she tries to run for her life as things progressively get weirder and weirder and weirder, of course, obviously. And this leads you into some, like, H.P. Lovecraft demon kind of a thing. Like, what the fuck am I reading? This just makes, like, everything in reality is changing. Reality is morphing to something else. Kind of a deal. Like, okay, this is getting really freaky. It can, it's getting so damn freaky. What the hell? Okay. Yeah, okay, graphic novel. What do you say, mate? Sure, whatever. But okay. It's fine, so I suppose, because it's a, it's a horror story. It's not supposed to be comforting anyway when you think about it. Of course, it's going to be bizarre. Of course, it's going to be rather weird when you think about it. But I can definitely say that this is definitely a really well-crafted story. Uh, I like the what, what they were trying to get aim for. The writing is actually pretty good here, folks. It's freaky, like I was saying a moment ago, folks. And yes, a horror story can have some good dialogue and be well written. What do you know? It doesn't have to be just gory, bloody bitch, which in itself could be fine if it goes along with the story, I reckon. But as long as it's done in a good way, I don't see nothing wrong with it, really. But okay, here we are, I suppose. That college student blondie over there and that goth-looking woman, of course, they pretty much have to team up to discover the secrets, the gloomy, dark secrets and whatnot, to see what's going on, really. But of course... It's really out of control. And yeah, it does go into this whole story with this man over here. Yeah, he's uh, he does have a play to part 
the story as well. So things can be rather crazy. Yeah, this guy with the glasses here. So there you go, I suppose. But okay, like a lot of this stuff is somehow connected to Wonderland in one way or another, in one shape or another. So okay, you can't ex exactly ex expect something peaceful to go on when it comes to Wonderland. Of course not. Some bizarre stuff will occur throughout the story here. But anyway, I do like the art. Work. The artwork is really nice here, folks. Of course, it's really well done. The artwork, the individuals behind this comic when it comes to art is nice. The artwork is really nicely done. Nicely detailed, of course. Why not? And of course, it gets bloody. It gets violent, as you might expect, quite obviously. That's part of the, the thing here, of course. That's to be expected, obviously. But then in some ways, that's fine, of course. It just makes it more... Like, okay, are the characters are at risk? Could they survive these horrific events? As they struggle to stay alive? They can't have a normal life, I suppose. They can't have a normal life whatsoever. Even if they tried, it's literally impossible for these characters to have a normal life whatsoever. But no, they have to survive in some kind of way because these creatures, those creatures out there, is out to get them, of course. It's crazy. It's pretty damn crazy when you think about it, quite obviously. So there you go, I reckon. Ultimately, yes, I would recommend this because it's well crafted. I did like the way it's handled. The pacing of the story is pretty good. I did like the pacing. Nothing felt like it was too slow or too fast, but it's at the right pace. I like that. Of course, I'm saying this as a good thing, but you, you'd be pretty shocked to hear that a lot of people. Okay, maybe at the maybe it's not really that shocking, really, because unfortunately, a lot of people out there believe that just because it's horror related, just because it's some something with horror movies, horror stories, it can't be well crafted. It's just slock for the sake of slock, just because it's horror related. Which, of course, is a biased point of view. To, to, to say, of course, just because it's horror related, just based on that alone, just because it's part of that genre, doesn't mean it's going to avoid of it being creative. That's ridiculous, we think. That's really ridiculous. Of course it is. You can be creative. I mean, yes, I, I've talked about some bad horror stories before, obviously, but it's not because it's horror related. It's just because people are incompetent. Thankfully for this story, it's nicely done, folks. Of course, it's nicely done. And it's pretty expensive, of course. Yeah, I had to pay a pretty penny for this graphic novel, but you can fork over quite a bit of dough, so to speak. I would recommend it, obviously. Anyway, other than that, it's still a good read as far as I'm concerned. This is one of those things I've been meaning to talk about, folks. Yeah, this is one of the thing, these things I've been meaning to talk about. So it just took me a good long while to finally get to it, really. So here we are. I haven't reviewed... A graphic novel or comic, however, whatever you can call it, in a good while anyway. And it is my way to want to talk. Of course, I want to talk about more books, more literature whenever I have the chance. Of course, I, I'm going to make more of an effort to fix that, I guess, because I don't talk about this stuff that often. It's weird. It's very weird. It's a weird story to, to look into. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea because of that. It's so strange. Anyway. But I guess I will recommend this anyway, nonetheless. And of course, I would say that it's worth a read. I'll give this an overall rating of a 7.0. I think it's a 7.0 for me, folks. As always, thanks for watching and take care. See ya. Oh yeah, later.